a very simple question to ask. Rastin Rasoli, a double major in computer science and psychology, says his own experiences seeking mental health services inspired him to create an app. I'm having a panic attack. He says Doro uses AI technology like ChatGPT to offer users early mental health intervention. So we ask them some questions about their symptoms. We can build a simple profiling of the user, what their challenges are, how we can help them. Also, this is the point that if we realize the symptoms are too serious, we refer them to a the therapist. Apps like Doro seek to fill a gap, especially for young adults and teens who tend to report higher rates of mental health problems. A 2022 study of Canadian post-secondary students revealed that one in three students said campus mental health resources did not meet their needs. But researchers like Rachel Cates worry about the entry of AI into psychology and psychiatry. It sort of reinforces the isolation of a mental health struggle because you're not talking to another person, you're not actually reaching out, you're just looking at your phone for yet another thing. We are all struggling with our kids connecting to healthy things. This child and family psychiatrist thinks AI could help in an overburdened system, but... We need safeguards uh, where before any technology is just freely introduced, there should be at least some sort of vetting process to make sure it is actually helpful. And so it's a very wide spectrum. Yeah. Rastin Rasoli agrees. Apps like his could never replace a therapist. This is a very like um, sensitive market and you have to be very cautious how you're going to approach it. So your daily mental health coach. Now the generation that's comfortable talking about mental health will decide how it fits with another of their comfort zones, technology. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Waterloo, Ontario.